Hi, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. And I'm going to do a reading for you. So today, this reading um, is going to be a karmic reading, but I'm going to be channeling through the karmic perspective. Okay, so again, I'm going to be channeling the karmic energy. All right, so we're going to look through the karmic's perspective, take a look at um, their energy towards the masculine and their energy towards you. Okay, so information for personal and private readings are down below each video in the description box below. And um, yeah, let's go. Excuse me. Let's go ahead and get started. All right. I want to see who I'm reading for first. So let's go ahead and pull the karmic energy. Spirit, please show me the karmic. So we got the sun in reverse. This is Leo energy. Okay. So I feel like with the sun in reverse, this is um, just not happy. This is someone who really is kind of miserable in their life and they like being miserable. I'm sorry to start off like right off the bat like this, but that's just that's just what it is with the sun in reverse and that's the energy I'm picking up. So this is a person that is miserable about themselves, about their environment. This is someone who probably complains a lot, complains about everything and um yeah, it's like when you're around this person, it's like, "Ugh, like get me out of here." Like they bring down your mood. You know, um, it's really gloomy. They're very, very like, uh, what would the word be like sarcastic, you know? So yeah, let's go ahead and get another card here. For the karmic energy. We got Jupiter in reverse, okay. Um, so with Jupiter in reverse, it says courage, uh, beginnings, and action. All right. So um, this karmic can hold a grudge. That's something I'll tell you. They never let anything go. Nothing at all, okay. Um, this karmic... I know this is going to sound bad, but I feel like they're also very lazy. Okay. Um, and it's like, they're just miserable. They're just miserable. Okay. Leo energy here. They don't know how to have fun. And that's something that people know about this karmic. They just don't know how to have fun. They're very, very miserable. They're stuck in their ways and their beliefs, which actually kind of makes them miserable. Um... You know, and that actually can happen, you know, when you're just very, very stuck on a certain belief, even though things um, and information is showing you otherwise, you know, it can make you kind of miserable. It can make you like kind of, I mean, sometimes, you know what I mean? And the karmic's case, right? And it, it doesn't help with being able to grasp an understanding um as well and i think that this karmic might have time a hard time grasping understanding our concepts um and that could be another reason why you know they just feel very miserable in themselves let's let's move on from that let's go ahead and take a look all right we're going to start with the masculine what does the karmic think about the masculine All right, and what does the karmic think about the feminine? Wow, we got reversals on both of those. Okay, so also, you know, we have Jupiter in the fifth house here, 
which is showing up. So this karmic could have Jupiter in the fifth house, you know, but it is reversed. I feel like it doesn't really work well together. All right. Um, so I feel like this karmic can be very like aggressive at times. Um, and what they find for fun actually makes them kind of miserable because what they find fun is like, making people feel very badly um you know for their beliefs or just i feel like this karmic is like a know-it-all type person who just tries to prove everyone wrong but in the meantime they just look like you can just tell they're not grasping understanding right so it's like i don't know just negative energy all around them especially with the jupiter energy coming in okay I feel like this karmic's very small and they project themselves very loudly and very like aggressively at times um, because of that they might feel a little bit small and I don't think it's because of their stature or their size I think it's because of their inability to kind of open up okay so we have the Hierophant in reverse here for how they feel about the masculine. Okay, this masculine could be a Taurus. And again, we have the five. So we have the fifth house here again. All right, let's move the camera down. So the fifth house is about fun. It's about hobbies, what you enjoy. Um, it's also about children, okay? So this karmic might also have a very like childlike view of the world or attitude. Um, and just being very self-absorbed, you know, children don't really have the ability to look outside of themselves yet because they don't have that comprehension. So they have a tendency to internalize everything. Like for instance, if their parents are fighting a lot, a child will internalize that and say, well, this must be my fault, right? Because they don't have the capacity yet to kind of look at outside influences. It's like they're looking through a lens where everything is stemming from them. Okay, they're looking at the world as um, inside of them almost, right? So they haven't learned how to accumulate like that worldview outside of themselves rather. So that's kind of what I'm seeing here. This karmic never learned how to accumulate like a view outside of themselves. So this is a karmic who really internalizes everything, okay? So with the hierophant in reverse coming out here and the thoughts towards the masculine, okay? So for the masculine, first of all, they're like, you're wrong. So I can see here that they tell this masculine they're wrong a lot. Um, they might really clash on beliefs, okay, religion morality, things of that nature, all right? Um, you know, we need to pull some karmic cards to go along with this. I have not gotten them out for a while. Let's go ahead and pull them. So let's get a karmic card for the Hierophant. And you know, with the Hierophant in reverse, it's like, I know better than you. You need to listen to me, right? Like, and really they don't. The Hierophant in reverse really has like a false teacher vibe. And isn't it funny how like the past few years we've just been seeing everybody thinking that they're an expert on everything and really sounding kind of not so informed while they're doing it. Um, that's funny. It's, it's kind of like the... And reverse Sagittarian energy, you know, reverse Jupiter energy, like the dark side of Jupiter, um, Sagittarius, right? So, yeah, that's the kind of energy from this karmic. And, you know, a lot of that 
can stem from an inability to kind of see a perspective outside of your own self. And that's usually something that children have and they grew out, they kind of grow out of, they learn um, kind of how to empathize and see things from different perspectives. But this karmic never learned to do that, okay? So first let's get a trigger card, you guys. All right, so Spirit, tell me more about the karmic thoughts towards uh, the masculine. This karmic is also very disagreeable with the masculine. They cannot agree on anything. Okay, yeah, we got memories here. Time to face the triggers. They get triggered very, very easily. And again, I feel like it's almost like they've reverted back to like a childlike state mentally. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is a karmic that feels triggered and believes that everyone else needs to deal with that instead of learning to face their own triggers instead of asking themselves the question why do i feel triggered right now you know is that my fault or is it someone else's fault and if i feel it's someone else's fault what exactly and how exactly did they trigger me and really look into that energy right um so in their thoughts i also feel like this karmic and this masculine also have a lot of bad memories together, okay? Um, they may have had a commitment in the past, a marriage in the past, okay? And that could certainly be a trigger point for the karmic. Let's get another card here for the karmic. All right, the divine feminine is triggering for this karmic. They do not like the divine feminine. They do not like, and I feel like they're jealous of your spirituality your connection to spirit. It's like, it's not just something that is secret. You know, when someone has a divine connection, you can sense that in their energy. You can sense it in their voice. You can see it. Um, they embody, you know, just a very glowing energy. It's really hard to explain, but people around you do sense that. Okay. And this karmic does sense that about this feminine Okay, and um, they don't like this feminine. They think this feminine is wrong. They think this feminine has been leading this masculine in the wrong direction. Okay, and that they are wrong. We have what they think about the feminine. Three of Pentacles in reverse. They are jealous of this feminine. Okay, they're jealous of your faith. They're jealous of the light. They're jealous of the energy that... You exhibit the way that you carry yourself. Um, they're jealous of the way the masculine looks at you, the way that they see you. So this is big time jealousy, okay? Big time. So let's go ahead and get a trigger card for their thoughts towards the feminine here. Okay. So really behind that jealousy is fear. So they might um, attack you a lot, feminine, and, you know, they're extremely jealous. But what you might not know is that they're actually afraid of you, okay, um, is what I'm seeing here. So they are afraid of the feminine, okay? There's a fear there. So why are they afraid of this feminine? Okay, we got anything I want. Okay, so this karmic is jealous and they're afraid that this feminine, honestly, I don't know. It's like they want to be this feminine. They want to be them. This feminine, this divine feminine is everything the karmic wants to be and wishing that they were, okay? And they are jealous, and behind that jealousy is fear, okay? A fear of being hurt, a fear of losing something to you um, when you are someone that they wish they were, if that makes any sense here. So they wish they were more like you. They see that light, that spark. Okay, and they want that. Okay, and they are jealous. 
And there's a fear that you are going to take what they want, which is this masculine. All right. Three of Pentacles, third party energy here. Let's take a look at the emotions the karmic feels towards the masculine. Ten of Pentacles, okay. So we do have five, five, five. Somebody could be seeing five, five, five here, and this is changes, okay? This is breaking away from codependency. All right, so this karmic, the emotions they feel, they do want a commitment. They want a connection. They feel this feminine is keeping them from what they actually want. They're afraid that they're never going to have that with this masculine. It's triggering for them. As well, it triggers a lot of memories from their past. Um, why is that triggering? We need to figure that out. Why is that triggering for them? Okay, because they're not happy. All right, because they haven't been happy. Because they've been miserable. And it says joy comes from within. Stop seeking outside of yourself. All right, so while they have a tendency to internalize everything, they also have a tendency to seek outside of themselves to find happiness, to find joy. This is the type of person that expects everyone else to make them happy, okay? Not knowing that it's a choice within yourself. So they believe that this feminine is the reason they're unhappy, okay? That it's not fair, that they know better than this feminine, that this feminine is going to take this masculine from them and they want a commitment with this masculine and they are afraid of that. Okay, so they are seeing this feminine as the reason why they can't be happy. They are blaming it on this feminine. Okay. So let's get another card here for their emotions towards um, the masculine. But they also feel the Ten of Pentacles and joy. Um, if I only had this commitment, if I could just have this commitment, maybe a family, you know, then I would be happy then. I've never been happy before, but if I just had this, I know that I would be happy. And this feminine, this divine feminine is getting in the way of that, okay? They are taking what I want. Um, that's what I'm seeing here. So let's get another card for the masculine. His emotions towards, or I'm sorry, the karmic's emotions towards the masculine. Kitchen, magic, amateur. Okay, so with this card coming out here and with joy here, okay, they they have some magical thinking here, believing, believing that a commitment, a relationship with this masculine is going to fix them. That's what's going to fix them. That's what's going to help them. That is what's going to make them happy finally for once in their life, just like magic, just like that. Because it's relationships that make you happy. It's other people's job to make you happy. That's what they believe. And that is why things have not been working for this karmic. That is why they never feel happy. That is why they've been miserable. That's why they still feel miserable. So let's take a look at the emotions here that um, the karmic has towards the feminine. How does the karmic feel about the feminine? Ten of cups in reverse. Look at that. So they're like this feminine. This divine feminine is taking my happiness. Okay? They're taking my happiness. They think that this masculine thinks, loves them. They think this masculine wants them, but guess what? Maybe this masculine thinks you're so great, feminine, but guess what? I see through you. 
I see who you really are, okay? You just want to take what's mine. I also have 1010 here. This karmic also says in you, feminine, I see the true you and you're the one who's jealous of me. Oh yes, feminine, you're jealous of me. You're the one who's afraid of me. That's right. It's you. And just so you don't know, I'm channeling the karmic energy today, okay? So let's get another card here for the emotions that they feel towards the feminine as well. A trigger card. Okay, aware. Stop sweeping it under the rug. So this is a fear that they have that they themselves keep sweeping under the rug. They are projecting this fear onto their feminine. They believe the feminine's jealous. Yeah, the feminine's jealous. They are the one who's afraid because they don't want to deal with the fact that this masculine really loves me. And you know, it's their fault that I'm not with them right now. It's their fault because they're jealous because they're just trying to take what I have. So if they would just let them go, right? If they would just let them go, then they wouldn't be sweeping it under the rug anymore. They can admit to their fears. This is how the karmic feels. This is their soul talking to themselves. It never had anything to do with the feminine. It always had something to do with themselves. Spirit wants them to look inside, okay? To stop sweeping these fears under the rug, saying it's time to face the triggers of why you can't be happy, why you don't feel happy no matter what you do. It starts from within, but they don't want to hear that. So let's go ahead and see the emotions they have towards the feminine further. Lipstick stains. Okay, so they're like, I know this feminine wants my masculine, and I know they've been together. They've been hooking up. This, this feminine just wants to take anything I want. Okay, that's what they do. And that's how they're looking at it. But really, you know what it is. They see that spark in you. They see that light in you. They are jealous of that. They want to be more like you. They want to have that light the way that you do. Um, but they don't want to do that inner work. They don't want to strengthen their connection with the divine. And so it's easier for them to tear you down. It's easier for them to project what they're feeling onto you. And if they would just take a moment to reflect they would realize that their soul is telling them exactly what they're doing, how they feel, and how to heal it. But they don't want to listen. They're putting it on the feminine. They're blaming the feminine. All right, so what actions do they want to take towards this masculine? What actions do they want to take? We know they want a commitment. King of Cups. So they want this masculine to love them. Sorry if you guys hear the mowing outside. They want this masculine to love them. They want this masculine to want a commitment with them. Okay? And with the King of Cups, they're trying to grow an emotional connection between them. Let's get another card for the actions they're going to take. But it's an illusion. There is really no emotion here. Okay, so this karmic's been lying to themselves and spirits like, you know, that gut feeling, you know, all those things that you feel intuitively about the divine feminine. Yeah, that's spirit trying to get you to look within that spirit trying to tell you, you don't feel that way about divine feminine. You feel that way about yourself. Everything else has been an illusion. So stop lying to yourself. And it's it's time karmic to finally trust that gut feeling. You never know where it may lead you. It may lead you down your own journey. And at the end of it, you might be divine feminine. 
This is what spirit is telling this karmic. All right, I do have a few karmics who watch. So trust your intuition. It is time, okay? It is time. No one can trick you, including yourself, when you have that intuition and you have um, a bond with that, when you trust that, right? So let's get another card for the actions they want to take towards the masculine. Fake. This thing has been fake. The situation's been in your head. It's been in your mind. This masculine doesn't love you. They don't want a commitment with you, okay? This feminine isn't keeping him from you. He doesn't want to be with you. It's, it's fake. It's an illusion. Maybe he was nice to you. Maybe at one point you were friends. But does he want to be with you, have a family with you, marry you? No. No. That's been an illusion. And even that relationship, you believe it's going to make you happy, Karmic. But what Spirit is telling me here is that is an illusion as well. That's not going to make you happy. That's not going to bring you joy. Not the type of joy you've been seeking. That type of joy can only come from within. And it's not Divine Feminine's fault. Divine Feminine is just a projection to you of your Karmic Feminine. Divine Feminine shows you your Karmic energy. And she doesn't have to say it. She doesn't have to make it aware. You automatically feel that around this Divine Feminine. This Divine Feminine has been your mirror. This Divine Feminine has showed you grace and mercy by holding up that mirror for your soul growth, for your expansion. And was most certainly punished by you for doing so. Okay. This Divine Feminine has actually been a soulmate to you. And one day, this karmic is going to look back and realize that, just that. It's time to start your journey, karmic. That's what spirit is saying. So how does the karmic, what is her intentions with the divine feminine at this point? Since they're blaming everything on divine feminine, what is their intentions? Okay, we got the Queen of Cups in reverse to manipulate, to manipulate the masculine. It's funny, we got the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups here. Um, so the King of Cups is the masculine. The Queen of Cups is Divine Feminine. Okay, um, listen, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine are twin flames in this case. They are soulmates. All right. Um, this karmic has been trying to come in between them. For some reason, they are so stuck on this masculine, okay, thinking this masculine has feelings for them, that they're going to have a family one day, and they have been very emotionally manipulative. This karmic can barely control their emotions, all right, and there's a fear of really facing them, okay? There's a fear of realizing that, what they believed up to this point about themselves has not necessarily been true. All right? Has not necessarily been objective, really. And, you know, I know that is really can't be objective, but, um, you know, it just goes with empathy. At some point, we can be that towards ourselves. And, um, yeah, so they're trying to manipulate. Okay? Um they are mean. They are cruel to this feminine. They don't plan on changing. They lash out on this feminine. Okay, they blame this feminine for everything that they feel. All right. We have wisdom. Trauma has given you the perspective and wisdom to assist others. Okay. So this feminine has helped you in your life, helped you 
to understand your intuition more, whether you realize that or not, Karmic. And um, I know it hurts. It hurts us, Karmic. When this feminine held up that energetic mirror and without saying a word, there is no word spoken here. This is about energy. Okay? It hurt. It hurt this karmic to look in it. It hurt this karmic to see who they really were. Um, it hurt this karmic to feel their intuition. But now it's time to stop sweeping it under the rug. Whatever this karmic tries to do to divine feminine is going to come back right on them just the way that energy would bounce off of a mirror. Because you can't hurt this divine feminine. You can't hurt your karmic mirror. So, karmic, inform yourself through your intuition and try to relax, karmic. You need to calm down with your emotions, okay? Meditation, all right? Breathing, calming those emotions, okay? Calming the senses in order to process um, information and turn it to wisdom, so this karmic really needs to work on calming the emotions. It's not this feminine's fault. And that's what spirit really is trying to get through to this karmic. What actions are they going to take towards the feminine? Any opportunity to emotionally hurt this divine feminine, they will take it. They will take it because they're jealous, because they blame everything on them. So they're just waiting for an opportunity to be able to emotionally hurt them. Why? Because they feel emotionally hurt. They want this feminine to feel how they feel. If this karmic reaches out to you, asks you for anything, please say no. No is a full sentence. You don't owe them an explanation. I don't care how much they manipulate an explanation out of you or try to emotionally make you feel bad or guilt you. Just say no. Because this karmic's trying to emotionally hurt you. Okay? They see that as justice. But really, they've been hurting themselves. Okay? With the inability to look inwards. All right? With the inability to heal. They've been harming themselves. They've been keeping themselves hurt. So let's get another card here for the actions. Yep. So feminine, this karmic's going to be reaching out to you. They're going to make you an offer. They're going to take any opportunity to hurt you. They're going to try to set up an opportunity to hurt you emotionally. How are they going to hurt you? They might tell you that they are the other woman, okay, that they've been with this masculine, that they've been committed the whole time you were together. It's a lie. It's not true. They may have had a commitment in the past. It's been over long before you and this masculine have met. So it's not true. All right. They will take any opportunity to hurt you. All right. So what else are they going to do to try to emotionally hurt you? Let's take a look. Yeah, we got the seven of wands. So this is really like violating, violating. Okay. They want to... They want to violate you, all right? That's what I'm seeing here. This is like violation. Um, they might even tell you that this masculine violated them in some sort of way, maybe even sexually. Anything they can say to hurt you. Anything they can say to hurt you, Page of Wands. It's not true, by the way, or I'm sorry. This is the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, they're going to make you an offer to violate you, to take any opportunity to emotionally hurt you, emotionally violate you. And now we have the Page of Cups, cloaked, okay, lying, all right, two pages, immature energy. They're going to be sending you a message. Ten of Swords, they want to hurt you. Ten, ten, ten. Somebody is seeing ten, ten, ten. All right. Feminine, please be aware. Spirit wants you to know that no is a full sentence. You owe this karmic nothing. 
You don't have to explain to them. You don't have to answer their questions, okay? You do not have to give them any opportunity to hurt you, to insult you, or anything else. All right? So let's see what the angels want to say here. We have freedom. We have yes. And beloved one. Okay, so the angels are telling you, person watching, that you are free to make your decisions. Okay, um, you are not confined. You are not constrained. You do not owe this karmic anything. There is no contract between you. Um, no, you don't owe them anything. Okay, you have the power to say no, or you have the power to say yes, but you have the freedom to choose. And Archangel Chamiel is here with you, with you and they want you to know um, you are very beloved to them. You are loved. You are protected. And Archangel Chamiel is helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. So the angels want you to know your relationship is divinely protected. This karmic will not come in between you, okay? And um, you are also protected and you are being warned about this karmic, forewarned, okay? So just remember, you are allowed to set those boundaries. You are allowed to say no. You don't owe any, anyone an explanation, okay? So that is the reading that I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If it resonated with you or if you just enjoyed the reading or enjoyed the message, please leave me a comment down below, um, like and subscribe. And if you'd like to be notified whenever I post a reading, you can hit the notification bell and you never know when I'll be telling your story or your masculine story next or even the karmic story. You never know. So you guys, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.